Thank you. Hi, I'm Phil Lemper with the new product, Hits and Misses, for the week of November 9th, 2009. Now, get ready for this. Not one hit this week. We select five new products for review each and every week from the hundreds that we see at trade shows, from recommendations from our viewers or that the brands themselves send to us. Our reviews are not paid for, nor can they be bought. Mama's Goodies Cashew Nut Crunch. Well, if you're used to eating traditional peanut brittle, Mama's Goodies is probably going to disappoint you. It tastes much less sweet, which could be a good thing for many, but the biggest difference is that it's not crispy or brittle. All the pieces were stuck together and very difficult to separate. While I applaud the idea of having a cashew brittle instead of peanuts, the cashews, frankly, are too soft a nut to make it work. Top it off with a retail price of $4.99 for just four ounces. That's 20 bucks a pound. Retails for $4.99, total score is 71. Christopher Michael's Sizzling Bacon Bar. So I looked at the package and I was curious about the combination of milk chocolate, bacon, Pop Rocks and Sea Salt? Well, the good or bad news, depending on what you like, is that you can hardly taste any of the bacon. The Pop Rocks keep on popping well after the chocolate is gone, but the one smart addition is the Sea Salt. The hint of salt actually adds to the flavor of the chocolate. It brings it out. Novelty aside, the milk chocolate is nice and smooth and flavorful, but I gotta ask, what's the point? Retails for $7, total score is 77. Polliner's sugar-free orange marmalade with fiber. Well, of course, Polliner's sugar-free orange marmalade with fiber is only 10 calories per tablespoon. First ingredient is water. And frankly, even with the Splenda maltodextrin, polydextrose, orange peel, and fruit pectin, it tastes like water. I love orange marmalade, and I'm not willing to compromise. So even though this has three grams of dietary fiber per tablespoon compared to the traditional orange marmalade, that has none, it's just not worth giving up the real thing for. Retails for $2.99, total score is 73. Hormel Pepperoni Minis Snack Packs. Well, I thought and I hoped that the mini food trend was over. Now, don't get me wrong, I love White Castle sliders, but everything else just doesn't seem to make sense. I was surprised, however, by Hormel's new mini pepperoni snack packs. While I am not sure that I would throw one of these little bags into my briefcase and add it to a salad or snack mix, as they suggest, it's a relatively tastely high-protein snack. It does taste a little too salty, and with 490 milligrams of sodium in just one ounce, that shouldn't be a surprise. Pepperoni is a pork blend of pork and beef and has the 13 grams of fat per bag. Retails for $3.49, total score is 79. Granola Gourmet Energy Bar Brownie, well, just because you say you're an energy bar does not mean you are. Granola Gourmet, which is 60% organic, says on the front of the package, no sodium, healthy fats, and carbs. I'm confused. There are carbs, 40 grams per piece, 20 grams of sugar per piece, and 14 grams of fat per piece also says on the front that it contains antioxidants and omega-3s. But once again, here's a product that does not give us the detail. And then there's the taste. And while I like the taste and mouthfeel of the product a lot, it doesn't taste anything like a brownie. Where's the energy and where's the taste? Retails for $7.99, total score is 73. New product hits and misses uploads right here every Wednesday. Join me on ABC News Now at 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday, where we continue the new products discussion, and you can get our latest updates on Twitter and Facebook. For the complete details and the product information on today's products, just log on to supermarketguru.com. Thanks for watching.